Praise the Lord. Yes, destiny is calling, calling you. For God has a destiny and God has a purpose for your life. Yes, you've had to go through some things, but I stopped by WIL TV 47, located in the marble city of Sylacauga, Alabama, out of all the things that you've been through. Amen. Was not meant to break you, but to make you. Amen. For God has a destiny and God has a purpose for you. Romans 8, 28 said that all things, well, we know that all things work together to the good of them that love God, to them that are the called according to his purpose. God has a purpose and God has a plan for your life. For I know the thoughts that I have concerning you, thoughts of peace and not evil, to give you an expected end, a hopeful future, amen, a successful future. I would that you prosper and be in hope even as your soul shall prosper. You mean even me, brother pastor, even you. David said, I was young, but now am old. Yet have I never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. God is a prayer answering God, and he's waiting on your call. He's waiting to hear your cry. Amen. David said, I cried unto the Lord, and he delivered me out of all my troubles. Amen. I cried, and I waited patiently on the Lord. He inclined unto me, and he heard my cry. Glory be to God. We give honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is our life. As a matter of fact, he is the way, the truth, and the life, and that no one comes to the Father but by him. He is the way, amen, that leads home. Amen. When I say home, I mean home to glory. Amen. Praise the name of God. If we're going to go home, we're going to have to go through Jesus Christ. Jesus said in John 10 that I am the door of the sheep. He's, a door is an access way. Amen. A door is the way in. A door is the way out. Amen. Jesus is that door of the sheep. He's the door. We are the sheep. Amen. Jesus said, "If amen, I am the door of the sheep, and by me, by Jesus, if anyone enters, he shall be saved. Amen. He told Thomas that I am the way, the truth, and the life, and that no one comes to the Father but by me. He said in Acts 4 and 12, Paul said, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Amen. So the way home is through Jesus Christ. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes on him should not perish but have everlasting life. I thought I was doomed. I thought I was, I was on my way to a devil's hell, but I kept on reading. Amen. Praise the name of God. And I, I, I read that God sent his son into the world not to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. God want mankind to be saved. He gave his son. Amen. And the son gave his life. Amen. Praise the name of God. The son. He gave his life a ransom for many. And you and I Amen. Were well, one of the many that he gave his life a ransom for. Amen. He paid an ultimate price. The songwriter said, Jesus paid it all, and all to him I owe. My sin was crimson stained. He washed it white as snow. And for that, I am thankful. For that, I am grateful. Amen. Glory be to God. We thank God. Amen. Amen. Brother Oscar Cook, amen, over at New Hope in Talladega. We thank God for you <clears throat> tuning in to this broadcast today. Amen. And we thank God, amen, for you.
And we thank God, amen. He loves that song by Tasha Cobb. Amen. Thank God for your brother Oscar. Amen. We thank God for your diligence. Amen. Your faithfulness. Your Amen. Your kindness. Amen. And we're grateful to you. Amen. Thank God for you, Sister Brown, and to all of our viewers out there that are viewing in by television, by YouTube, by Facebook. We're grateful to have you, and we're grateful that you're tuning in to this broadcast today. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made, and let us rejoice and be glad therein. This is the day. Amen. It may be storming. Amen. It may be hot, but it's still the day that the Lord has made. You may be going through a storm right now. You may be going through some sickness right now, but this is the day that the Lord has made, and let us rejoice and be glad therein. You may be, amen, burying a loved one today, amen, but God, amen, said be encouraged, and no matter what's going on, be encouraged, for he's nigh them of a broken heart, and he saves such of a contrite spirit, amen. When your heart is broken, when your spirit is crushed, God said, I will never leave you, nor will I ever forsake you. Lo, I'm with you always, even unto the end of the world. And we thank God, amen, for you. And we're grateful, amen, to you that have tuned in to this broadcast, amen. On last week, we talked about, amen, that Jesus knows what's in us, and he wants to get it out. Amen. Amen. There's some things in us that God wants to get out. Amen. The kingdom of God is within you. You're not far from the kingdom of God. If you have not yet confessed Christ into your life, amen, now is the time to do it. The elder people usually say time is winding up and destruction <clears throat> is in the land. Amen. They used to say, amen, it's getting late in the evening and the sun is going down. Let's go Bible ground with that. Work, Jesus said, I must work the works of him that has sent me while it is day, for the night comes when no one can work. Bible ground, Paul said, it's high time that we wake out of sleep, for our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. Amen. Let us cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. Bible ground, repent from which they are falling. Amen. Amen. Repent. Come back to the fold. Come to Jesus while the blood yet run warm in your vein. Amen. Don't worry about the other ones. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Come to know him for yourself. If you're watching by television, if you're watching today, and you don't know Jesus and the free pardons of your sins, I want you to know that he loves you that he cares for you, that he died for you, and he wants you to have everlasting life. How do I get everlasting life? God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes on him should not perish but have everlasting life. Wages of sin is death. But don't stay there. The gift of God is eternal life. Jesus told a woman at the well, if you knew, after she had asked him for a drink of water, Jesus said to her, if you knew who I was, if you knew who you were talking to, and if you knew the gift of God, if you knew you were talking, amen, to me, Jesus, the Savior, of the world, and if you knew the gift of God, which is eternal life, you would have asked me for a drink, amen, and I would have given you water that you thirst 
no more. For the water that I'm going to give you is going to be in you. A well of water springing up into everlasting life. See, that's why God want to get some stuff out of us, amen, so he can put some good stuff in us. Take out that stony heart and put in a heart of flesh, amen. Take out that wrong spirit and put in the Holy Spirit. Turn you from the power of darkness, amen, to the kingdom of his dear son. Translate you to the kingdom of his dear son. Turn you from the power of Satan to the power of God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. That's why I can talk about him. Amen. Praise the name of God. I thank God that he's a God that will take out the impurities. He will take out what's wrong in us and he'll put in what's right in us. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. In the hand that we used to give to the devil, now whatever we find our hands in, we do it for the Lord. Those feet that used to go in all places, amen, in the wrong places, amen. But I heard the gospel say how beautiful are the feet of them, amen, that preach, amen, good tidings. Your feet now are used to serve the Lord. Amen. God knows what's in us, and he wants to get it out of us. Man, but we've got to come to him. Hallelujah. Have you made a decision today to come to Jesus? Have you made up your mind that for God I live, and for God I will die? He's waiting, patiently waiting. Come. Without money, come without price. Whosoever will, let him come. Let us pray. Father God, we come with bowed heads, with humbled hearts. We stand before you, realizing that in your presence is the fullness of joy. At your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. We stand in all of you. You are God. There's none like you. There's none greater than you. There's none more powerful than you. There's none with a greater love than you. Greater love have no one than this, that a man will lay down his life for his friend. God, we thank you. You laid your life down for all of us. You gave your life a ransom for many. For that, we said thank you. We thank you for the blood yet running warm in our veins. I pray for everyone that has sickness in their bodies. I pray for everyone that has sick loved ones. I pray for every home. I pray for every marriage. I pray for every job. I pray for everyone across this world. Let your will be done in our lives. God, you told us and you're still telling us that of my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray. Seek my face. Turn from their wicked ways that we could hear from heaven that you will heal the land. Hallelujah. You'll save the sick. You'll save the lost. Father, help us to turn across this world. I pray, O oh God, that you allow these messages to reach the entire world. In the name of Jesus, let it fall, God, in the ears of those that you designed it for. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray according to my faith, be it done unto me. You told us, God, the gospel will be preached to the ends of the world. Let this gospel, let this message be Hallelujah. Go to the ends of the world. In Jesus' name, I pray for every sick. I pray for every loss. I pray for every situation. <laughs>
Let him have your burdens now. Two key words of our subject is the word let and the word now. To let means to allow. Amen. We have to allow him to have our burdens. He's not going to put us in a figure four headlock, amen, to get our burdens out of us. Amen. He's not going to put us in a fiery furnace or a lint den of lions to get our burdens out of us. He's saying today, let him have your burdens. We have to allow God to have, amen, what we need him to have, amen, in order for our lives to function properly. God does not force himself on anyone. He did not force himself on Job. He did not force himself on David. He did not force himself on Paul. Amen. And he will not force himself upon you and I. We have to let him. Amen. We have to allow him. He said, let not your heart be troubled. Yeah, you're going through some things. You've been through some things, and you got a lot going on. Amen. But don't allow your heart to be troubled. Amen. Instead of allowing your heart to be troubled, let's find out what, amen, the secret is. Let's find out what the solution is. David, you went through some things. How did you do, amen, to not let your heart be troubled? David said, I lift my eyes to the hills from which come my help. My help come from the Lord, which made the heaven and earth. David said, amen, I cried to the Lord, and he delivered me out of all my troubles. Amen. I allowed myself to go to him. Praise the name of God. Amen. When I needed him to deliver me from my burdens, from my troubles, from my situations. Glory be to God. I had to allow him. And David, amen. What about me, David? Well, David said, I was young, but now am old. Yet have I never seen the righteous forsaken. Amen. Nor his seed begging bread. Never have I seen one that allowed God, amen, to have their burdens, amen. I never have seen one forsaken, nor their seed begging bread. Praise the name of God. David, what did you do, David? Well, I allowed his word, amen, in me. Amen. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Thy word, O oh Lord, have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. See, we must understand that doubt, worry, and fear, amen, is sin. Hallelujah. Whatsoever that is not of faith is sin. Hallelujah. Praise the name of God. So I say to you, you. Let him have your burdens. Let him have your situation. Amen. The Bible says casting all of your care upon him for he careth for you. We are to, amen, pray about everything and don't worry about anything. Hallelujah. Praise the name of God. Well, I need this and I need that. What do you say, bro, preacher? I say, let him have your burden now. That's what I say. Praise the name of God. Amen. Amen. Don't worry about what you're going to eat, what you're going to wear, what you're going to drink. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. The Lord said, amen. Don't even worry about tomorrow. Amen. For tomorrow will take care of itself. Uh, 
Let him have your burdens now. Amen. By seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all of these things shall be added unto you. Hallelujah. You may say today, well, I'll do it later on. Amen. But procrastination, amen. God don't want you to procrastinate. He wants you to let him have your burden now. Can't you hear him saying in Isaiah 118, come now, not tomorrow, not when you get this straightened out, not when you get this straightened out, Ha, hallelujah. Ha, hallelujah to God. Ha, Isaiah said, come now ha, and let us reason together. Ha, ha, let's talk it over. Ha, hallelujah. Ha, let's get it together. Ha, don't your sin be as scarlet. Ha, let him have your burden now. Ha, don't it be red like crimson. Ha, let him have your burden now. Ha, hallelujah. Ha, if you can't see no way out, out, huh? let him have your burden now. Huh? If you're down, hallelujah, and shown up troubled, huh? let him have your burden now. Huh? Paul had burdens, huh? but he knew who to look to. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? He said, huh? at my first answer, huh? no man stood with me. Huh? Alexander the coppersmith huh? did me much evil. Huh? Demons had forsaken me, ha, loving this present world. Now, nevertheless, ha, the Lord, ha, I gave it to the Lord. Ha, nevertheless, the Lord ha, stood by me. Ha, I want to tell you today, ha, he'll never leave you. Ha, let him have your burden now. Ha, he'll never forsake you. Ha, let him have your burden now. Ha, yeah, ha, good God Almighty. Ha, a lot of people, ha, a man has have studied God uh, in order to try to prove him wrong, uh, to make him uh, not who he said he is. Uh, but I stopped by uh, WOIM uh, TV 47, uh, located in the Marble City uh, of Sylacauga, Alabama, uh, to tell somebody uh, I'm a witness uh, that he's a burden bearer, uh, he's a heavy load sharer. Uh, I'm a witness. Uh, he's joy uh, in sorrow. Uh, I'm a witness. Uh, he's hope uh, for tomorrow. Uh, and if you give it to him, uh, yeah, uh, give it to Jesus. Uh, he'll bear it. Uh, give it to Jesus. Uh, he'll share it. Uh, yeah, uh, hallelujah. Uh, see, the wise uh, and the prudent uh, have tried. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, to discredit him, but the Bible said, yeah, Jesus said, I thank thee, Father, O Lord of heaven and earth, you hid these things from the wise and the prudent, and you revealed them unto babes, yeah, see, a little child will lead you, you can learn a lot about the kingdom, Ha, from the hallelujah, ha, from a little child. Ha, no wonder Jesus ha, took a child in his arms ha, and showed them ha, who was the greatest ha, in the kingdom. Ha, yeah, ha, and said, except you humble ha, yourself ha, as a little child, ha, you shall not ha, enter the kingdom ha, of God. Ha, hallelujah. Ha, even so, uh, the Father, uh, he does good. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, was in his sight. Uh, and hallelujah. Uh, God loves you. And he cares for you. And he wants you to let him have your burdens. Key word, now. Why wait? Tomorrow is not promised to any of us. Jesus said, here I am. Won't you please take my hand? You said, I will 
Tomorrow, tomorrow, I'll give my life tomorrow. But you know what? Tomorrow, maybe we will be too late. Tomorrow may be too late. Let him have your burden now. Let me have your child now. I know they've gotten on your knee, off your knees and on your heart. Let me have your burden now. I know your money is funny, your change is strange, and your credit can't get it, but let me have your burdens now. And he's talking to the entire world. And I pray that the entire world is, is veering in. That Jesus is saying to the entire world, what is he saying? Come unto me. Can't you see him? Hallelujah. All that labor and all that are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Learn of me. My yoke is easy. My burdens are light. Let him have your burdens now.